When you apply a filter to a pivot table, you limit the data that's displayed within it. In this movie, I will show you how to remove filters, both individually and removing all your filters at one time. I will use the clear sample file, which you can find in the Chapter 3 folder of your Exercise Files archive. This workbook contains a single pivot table with three fields, Department, Quarter, and Sales, and I currently have filters applied to both the department and quarter fields. You can tell that a filter is applied because the column labels and row labels buttons within the body of the pivot table have a filter icon next to the arrow. And also, you can see in the pivot table fields pane that the department and quarter field headers have filter icons next to them as well. If you want to remove a filter from a field within a pivot table, then go over to the pivot table fields pane and click the down arrow of the field that you want to remove the filter from, and then click Clear Filter from Department. And Department, in this case, is the name of the field. If I were removing the field from Quarter, it would say Clear Filter from Quarter. So I'll go ahead and click that. And when I do, all of the departments appear in the pivot table. And I could do the same thing for Quarter. If I want to reapply the filter, I just need to undo my last action. So to do that, I'll go up to the Quick Access Toolbar, and click the Undo button. Doing so reapplies the filter. I could have also pressed Control Z. If you want to remove every filter from a pivot table, you don't need to get rid of them individually. Instead, what you can do is click any cell in the pivot table, then on the Analyze tab on the ribbon, click the Clear button, and then click Clear Filters. Doing so removes all the filters from your pivot table, and displays all of the data contained within the fields with the organization that you've set in the pivot table fields pane. And that is how you remove and reapply filters from pivot tables in Excel 2013.